The LCD method part 2, clearing the fractions out of an equation. This video will help you clear the fractions out of more complicated equations. If you haven't watched the LCD method part 1, make sure you go back and watch that first. I'm going to kind of pick up there where I left off. And here we're going to take a look at some more complicated equations where we can get rid of the fractions and make the equation a lot easier to solve. All right, let's take a look at one of these more complicated examples here. You can see an example one here that I'm asked to solve this equation. You notice I just have one denominator there, but I have a lot of other stuff going on, and this is a little bit confusing for students to figure out. So if I look at all of the fractions in this equation, there's really only one fraction. I have this one fraction here. The denominator of that fraction is 6, so my LCD is going to be 6. So the first thing I would do here is I'm finding my LCD. Well, that's 6. So that part was pretty easy. But now the process of clearing that 6 out of this equation gets a little bit more complicated. So again, I want to do just what I did in you know, the LCD method part 1. I want to make sure I multiply both sides of this equation by 6. And when I do that, I want to make sure I multiply every single term of this equation by 6. So let's go ahead and set this up. On the left side, I'm going to write that 6 as a fraction since the left side I'm dealing with a fraction. So I'm going to take 6 over 1, and I'm going to multiply that times this left side of the equation. On the right side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to multiply by 6, but there I'm not dealing with any fractions, so I'm just going to write 6 as a whole number. But again, I want to make sure I multiply both terms over here by the 6, not just one of those terms. Okay, now that I've got myself set up to multiply by the LCD, normally in the first case, you know, in the part 1, I would go ahead and multiply through by the 6 and then simplify things. However, this left side of the equation, it is going to be a heck of a lot easier if we divide out this common factor of 6 first, then we don't have to worry about multiplying through by 6 and then dividing by 6. You'll notice we have this common factor of 6 right here, 1 in the numerator, 1 in the denominator. Divide both of those out before we ever start multiplying. Now notice once we divide them out, there's nothing left to multiply. So this left side of the equation is just simply this. 3 times 2x plus 1. That was pretty easy. Now let's look at the right side. Here, I do need to multiply through by the 6, and I need to make sure I multiply 6 times both of these terms. So that's going to give me 24x minus 6. All right, now I'm simply just going to simplify both of the equations. My fractions are gone. From here, I'm home free. So I would distribute the 3. That's going to give me 6x plus 3. And we'll bring down the right side as it is. Okay, I've simplified both sides. Now let's check to see if there are variable terms on both sides. There are. I'm going to remove or get rid of the smaller one here. So I'm going to subtract 6x from each side. On the left side, that's going to drop out and give me 0. So all I'll have left on the left side then is 3. Those were gone. On the right side, 24x minus 6x is going to give me 18x. All right, continuing on, I need now to add the 6 to both sides. So it looks like I get 9 equals 18x. Divide both sides by 18. And so I get this fraction 9 18 But if I was to simplify that fraction 9 18 that would simplify to 1 half. So there is the solution to my equation. Now it's time to check your understanding of using this LCD method in a more complicated equation here. So go ahead and pause your video player and work this practice problem. When you're done, hit play to see how you did. Okay, so step one, we're going to find the LCD. In this case, it's really easy. We only have one denominator. That denominator is 8. So my lowest common denominator is simply going to be 8. Now I want to go ahead and set up to multiply both sides of this equation by 8. Okay, you can see I have both sides now multiplied by 8. On the left side here, I've written that 8 as a fraction, 8 over 1, since I'm dealing with a fraction. On the right side, I just left it as 8 because on the right side, I'm not dealing with fractions at all. Now, just like in my example, I don't want to go through and multiply by this 8 and have to worry about all that stuff. The very first thing I want to do is divide out this common factor of 8. Notice there's an 8 in the numerator, 8 in the denominator. We can divide those factors out right away. And that's going to leave us on the left side with 4 times x plus 4. On the right side now, 
nothing to divide out, so I'm just going to simply distribute the a, which is going to give me 24x minus 24. Now I've got a normal equation. Fractions are cleared out, so now I'm pretty much home free. So uh, simplifying the left side, I'll distribute the 4. That's going to give me 4x plus 16. 24x minus 24 on the right side. All right, let's see. i got variable terms on both sides, so I'm going to get rid of or remove the smaller one, which is this 4x. So I'll subtract 4x from each side. Then I'll have 16 is equal to 20x minus 24. All right, add 24 to both sides. Uh, 24 plus 16 is going to give me 40. Divide both sides by 20. And we see that x is equal to 2.